people, Kids and Mappers TV before we another video. So Celtic have beaten Hapwell Birashiba 5 2 in the first leg of the Champions League qualifier. Fantastic performance from Celtic apart from the first 10 minutes of the second half when I can see two sloppy goals. But overall, they just completely dominated this team from Israel. They were very, very poor in my opinion. Both their goals were lucky. Defensive mistakes from, and goalkeeping mistakes from Craig Gordon. Who could have saved both of them to be honest. But anyway, Brown had an effort in the second minute which was tipped wide by the goalkeeper. Really good save. But then Celtic scored. Rogic um, put the ball into the net. Really, really good finish. Griffiths, who I thought was tremendous in this game. Just, oh, he's just fantastic. He played a lovely ball in behind Sinclair. He was also fantastic. His runs just caused Hapwell so many problems. He ran it behind and the goalkeeper wiped him out. It would have been a penalty to Celtic, but the referee played on and Rogic hit the rebound in the net anyway and it was one of Celtic and it was just totally one-sided. Sinclair had a penalty appeal turned down. I uh, don't know if it was a penalty or not. Personally, I don't think it was. Rogic had an effort which comfortably saved. Sinclair had an effort which comfortably saved. But then Griffiths scored an amazing header. Torre, who thought was tremendous again in defence, apart from the first 10 minutes of the second half. He stro strolled out of defence, played the ball to Forrest. Forrest then beat his man, played a cross in, and Griffiths, bullet header, bottom corner, ran over to Brendan Rodgers and embraced. It was just a fantastic moment, and Celtic Park erupted, and it was just so one-sided, it was ridiculous. Celtic were just overpowering this team. This team was very, very poor. They just couldn't live with the speed that Celtic were playing the ball with at. Then Griffith scored an amazing free kick just for half-time. Again, oh, it was just tremendous. Edge of the box, he curled into the top corner. It was 3-0 to the Scottish champions. And, to be honest, Hapwell didn't even have a shot. They had a shot in the first half, which were wide, and that was it. Very poor from this team. Second half begins. We're going to get an effort that was come through saved. But then Celtic conceded a goal from a corner. So they counter-attacked. And Craig Gordon was beat his near post. He should have saved it. He should have saved it. I've been begging for a new goalkeeper for ages. Hopefully the guy we just brought, Dorius De Vries, comes in. Because I just don't like Craig Gordon. I think his time's up. He's just so poor. So poor. He should have saved this. Got beat his near post. Then they scored again. Nobody picked the guy up on the edge of the box. Down the same side. Down the right back area. And the guy just hit it. And Craig Gordon dived over it. What an idiot. He should have saved it. What the fuck was he doing, personally? And we were in a more uncomfortable position after being so dominant in the second half. We just played so much, so much brilliant football in this Second half, you just didn't see Hapwell causing us any issues. But Celtic regained composure. Scott Brown got them back into the game. He told them to carry calm. Near Beaton added a fourth from the corner. It was actually Dembele's goal. Beaton headed it and hit Dembele and it went in. He caused a lot of problems with him on Dembele. I thought it was really impressive him. He's impressed me every single game. Fantastic little player. I think he's going to be in the future. So he scored, didn't know anything about it really, but it was 4-2 to Celtic and they were the team again in control of the tie. Gordon then pushed away a header, so the ball came in from the nearer side and Gordon made a really good save. He pushed it away, he beat on, actually beat on, pushed it onto Gordon's hands so and Gordon made a really, really good save. Hapwell then should have had a penalty, like Scott Brown had pulled it in the box, but referee wave play on. And from that, Dembele and effort which went wide. But Scott Brown scored the fifth. And what I think is going to be a decisive goal in a tie. He hit a shot. Hit the defender. It came back out to Brown. Brown hit it. And it went into the bottom corner. It was a good finish from the captain. Who's now Celtic's most... Appear... I mean, he's Celtic's most capped player. So he's put, made more appearances in, in European competition than any other player he's ever taken. Billy McNeil... So it was a great night for Scott Brown. I thought he was good in this game. I don't think he was tremendous, but I thought he was good. Sinclair then beat the defender. Like, Scott Sinclair just completely destroyed this defender. Like, he ran past him like he was a ghost. And a goalkeeper pushed it wide. And that's the final chance of the game. And, yeah, that was the end of 5-2 to Celtic. I think Celtic are through. Two years away. Brandon Rodgers has come in. 
and he's transformed the team. The team looked better, stronger. I think we need another centre defensive midfield. I just don't think Callum McGregor is good enough to play there with like Scott Brown and Beaton. I think Beaton is a better player than McGregor. We should play him more, even though he has been injured. But I definitely think we need another centre defensive mid. But yeah, Brandon Rodgers has taken us to the brink of the Champions League after two disappointing years away under Ronnie Dyler, who was just a disaster, as you know. I don't like I didn't like him as manager, thought he was awful. And yeah, he again is oh his substitution was just class. He just brought Yanko on who thought played alright, and then he brought on Beaton who just gave us some balance in the middle of the pitch. He got us back into the game with Scott Brown and it was just Celtic's attacking play. In the first half was absolutely fantastic. Lee Griffiths has got to be Strotman's first choice striker. Better than Fletcher, better than McCormack, better than bloody Rhodes. All of them are not as good as Griffiths, in my opinion. And yeah, I just don't think Celtic will lose this now. I think they'll score over there because this team has to come out and score three goals. They won't do that because they're not very good, in my opinion. They don't beat Olympiacos in the last round. They show their attacking threat. At the beginning of the second half, but I only did that because so it made two mistakes. And if Eric Shivryachenko's back, then in the centre of defence with Keller Torre, because don't think O'Connell will play. I think this is, O'Connell was a bit dodgy tonight, but yeah. So I think they'll qualify, but we'll have to wait and see. The next day is in Israel, next Tuesday, 7.5 kickoff. But well done, Celtic. Absolutely fantastic tonight. And let's move on to the game against St Johnson, which we should win, even though they've got to a decent start. And then the game in this run next Tuesday. So, thank, that's just a quick review on the Celtic Hapoel Beresheba Champions League qualifier first leg, guys. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. But until next time, to all you Hoops fans out there, hell, hell, and peace out.